I met Dwayne Allman in 1966 at Dolphin Island, Alabama. That's off the coast of Mobile. And he and Greg came out to a gig I was playing, and uh, I thought uh, they were the coolest guys I'd ever seen. They, there was something about both of them, especially Dwayne, that was just, uh, you just knew this, this guy here is important. He's got something to say. And um, as it turns out, he may be the only ge real genius that I ever knew, for a fact, was a genius. Got to know well enough to know he was a genius. And had he not been a, a famous guitar player, he would have been something else. He, he, he would have never been ordinary, that's a fact. And he was um, very literate, even though he, he didn't have a long degree of education degree or anything. He was constantly reading, very well read. Uh, when I heard uh, Dwayne play the first time, it was like, God, nobody else is doing this. He's, he's playing licks. And, and they were doing a lot of copy cover material, too. They had not gotten into writing original material. At all. But he played, uh, played a song in a way that I thought, I've never noticed that song. I need to go back and listen to that record. And he's doing stuff on there I've never even noticed before like their their vocal harmonies and things they they fine-tuned it they, the stuff that we would normally just had the lead singer play they had the, not only that was greg doing that excellently uh, but uh, they were doing all the harmony parts and, and uh, we just uh, we just never cared it that far it made me really pay attention to music I think he made me a better player. He made me pay attention to what I was doing, pay attention to what I was playing and where I was going to take something. And uh, when you played with Dwayne, you could not be ordinary. You just couldn't. You just, you'd be ashamed of yourself if you weren't pulling your weight playing with Dwayne. You just had to play good to, to keep up.